we're back. Howdy y'all, this is Ethan Monreal playing Oregon Trail, the complete edition, and last time we were here, uh, we stopped off at the castle, as you can see here, a uh, wonderful zombie castle. Uh, and uh, this time around we're gonna need to keep pressing forward and probably address our supply issues. So as you can see, I went ahead and got carry capacity plus off screen, because we gotta, we gotta get moving here. There's a lot to do. Um, which means I can carry more stuff when we're scavenging. <laughs> Um, our supplies are really low. I have nine bullets left from uh, farming off screen to get carry capacity plus, uh, and we only have ten dollars left and seven point five fuel. Um, and there ain't nothing to buy in this goddamn castle, so we are gonna need to probably just fucking leave. Tbh. Um, life is kind of rough out here for uh, for uh, survivors in a zombie apocalypse. Who knew that the castle in the middle of midwestern. Uh, U.S. would have, like, no supplies. That's just so bizarre. I'd assume they'd have a bunch of zombie treasure or some shit. But anyway... Oh man, my allergies are killing me. Uh, after we finish resting, to basically to get past the peak zombie hours, we're gonna press forward, because we just really... We gotta find a town with supplies, y'all. Um, like, that is really what's gonna decide the run. Um, if the next few towns or the next few trading sequences have some supplies that we need available to us. Um, so let's go ahead and peace the fuck out. We're gonna head to Dallas, um, not something I enjoy. Um, and this game really captures what it's like to travel in Texas, um, because after we leave Dallas, we have one of the longest stretches of traveling um, in the game. It is so long. It is a very long period of time. I would not be surprised if it's like two or three minutes in the video. Or if I'm just complaining because it's annoying. But anyway, uh, so I'm gonna focus on what the literal fuck. Who the fuck would steal my last nine ammo like that? God damn it. Well, we have zero percent ammo, <laughs> um, and that is truly a tragedy. But it's not raining anymore, uh, and we're already in the Dallas. Uh, we're not going to visit that tombstone, because I have no uh, bullets to fend off anything if it goes wrong. <laughs> Some food goes bad. Man, we are we are hitting a lot of shit here. That's a pretty accurate portrayal of Dallas, TBH. Um, and that is why I don't really like going there. Well, that's how I feel when I go there, because I just Dallas just feels really weird when I'm in it. Um, I like Houston, though. I don't know, it just feels very different. Although my grandmother actually is from Dallas, I don't know if you know that. Well, she's really from Fort Worth, but it's the same metro area. Anyway, so this town ain't got shit, they only got scrap, which has its uses. But we don't particularly need that right now. So we're probably not going to stick around here too long. <laughs> um, maybe try to do some trading, because we really, yeah, like, we need something. <laughs> we really need something to work with here. Uh, but while I, uh, I'm gonna go through these trading sequences and just commentate over this, um, and by commentate, I mean, uh, vlog a bit, cause I feel like my last few videos haven't been that great for vlogging, we're gonna go ahead and speed past this. But, uh, as far as what I've been thinking about, um, we did get some ammo of that, that's actually pretty useful. As far as what I've been thinking about here, um... Uh, update, I'm learning Lightworks, which is a video editing program, uh, cause I wanna do coming out on top videos again. I actually started recording one <laughs> the other day, um, cause I did one of the Brofinder dates, and I thought it was really cute until my, uh, character just abruptly started sucking dick. Um, so, I was like, oh, okay, um, I probably need to learn how to edit this before I can upload it. Alright, so... We're not going to go to the dump site. I'm going to show you where we are. We're actually in the middle of our journey, kind of, but there are a lot of stops in between. So we're going to go to the strip club because it's better to go towards um, Oregon, where we're headed. Anyway, let's go ahead and wait out this crowd. So uh, that's that's pretty exciting. Um, I actually watched a tutorial video, and this is actually one of the first times that I've actually watched a tutorial video to like learn something and it be very helpful. And I think it's more not because tutorial videos are usually bad, but because I'm more in like a state of mind where I can like be patient enough to actually watch it. Because I actually watched all the way through it and kind of followed along with the program, so that was pretty legit. Um, I actually, oh, frowny face, yeah it is pretty desolate out here. Um, that is driving in Texas. 
Um, as you can see, it's a horrible, awful um, prairie slash desert landscape in the background, um, which is kind of what I live near. I live near a lot of prairie grass. Um, well, a lot of it's been uprooted to make a suburb, but it's, a lot, it's very prairie-ish out here. You can see a lot of wildflowers alongside the highway, which is really nice. I remember when I moved... Chrissy, what are you doing back there? As a quick aside, one of the neat parts about this game is that you can really imagine what sort of wacky hijinks... Chrissy, what the fuck did you do with our money? Um, <laughs> what sort of wacky hijinks are going on while this drive happens? Because it's like, are Chrissy and Bryant, like, bonding over a fandom or some shit? Or, like, they just throwing my money out of the goddamn window for no reason because they think it's fun? Um, and somehow that results in Michelle getting measles, so that's pretty legit -y. Um, and I think any one of those scenarios is equally likely, um, TBH. Oh, frowny face. Man, we are really getting the shit beat out of us. We really need to be careful. So this is what I meant by this drive is really long and annoying. Um, like, I don't even think we are halfway there. Ooh, we got a muffler. I don't think we're even halfway there right now, and I don't feel like stopping to check the map. Um, we're not gonna stop at any graves for now. Until we get our supply our supplies good. I'm not gonna stop at any, um, I'm not gonna stop at any graves. That's good. That food's useful. I'm not gonna stop at any graves, and I'm not gonna do anything that's, um, too unnecessary outside of just driving to the next des destination, because I really don't want to risk things. Bryant, why do you have cholera? <laughs> Fuck. Um, ooh, well, at least Michelle, Michelle's measles are gone. Oh man, my allergies are killing me. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I'm like really conscious of the fact that I cannot comply. Oh my god, I almost said comply. Pronounce entire words that well right now. So let's go ahead and get everyone a bit more healthy. Um, I don't want anyone to die just randomly. Maybe they trip and fall and explode or some shit, because that, that is very likely to happen. Like I mentioned before, Jenna just flat out got fucking kidnapped, and then Michelle just walked out of the car and disappeared um, in the last playthrough of this. Um, so we really want to keep people healthy and just limit the chance of... Shit, dude. Holy shit. We really need to get to this strip club. Goddamn. There we go. We finally made it, almost. Phew. Oh, man. That is... <laughs> that is good, because we are we are really almost out of luck here. So we got some pretty neat scenery here. Zombie strippers chewing on people, okay. Looks like there are a lot of people here, so hopefully they got a good spread as far as what to buy. So let's check that out. Oh my great beautiful gay god. Okay, so they do have stuff. Um, now we just need to figure out <laughs> what resources we need to convert this to money. Uh, so that we can deal with the fact that we only have one fucking fuel. Um, man, both of those are shitty jobs, too. Well, luckily, we got the carry capacity, so everyone's more or less kind of healthy. Let me see what time it is. 7 p.m. Let's try fishing out. I've actually only done this mini game once, and I did it like in the starting area, so I'm not exactly sure how this works. Um, and I'm really hoping that this being a gray or slash tan block means that there's water here. This is not water, is it? This is in fact dirt, because we're in the middle of Texas. Or West Texas, oh my god, please. Please. No, you're not gonna sink, are you? No. Well, okay. That's fine. Um, this gives me an opportunity to pretend like I didn't just throw my rod into a bunch of dirt. Um, and I'm gonna try it again, and maybe I just didn't uh, do it right, and we'll see, and I will not look like an asshole. So we're gonna try that one more again. Uh, let's go ahead and cast that further this time. There we go. No, okay. Frowny face. Um, you can't see it, but I'm, I'm kind of frowning here because I really was hoping I'd be able to fish something up. So I'm pretty sure you can, like, fish up random resources and stuff. It's like an alternative to both rusting and scavenging. 
Um, but because we're in the middle of West Texas, um, there's no water or joy to be found, so we're just not gonna be able to have anything. Um, and that's okay, get back here. There we go. Luckily, at least people get rested from that, but we are kind of dwindling our food supplies. Um, so I think... What? We we have a lot of shit we need to do, friends. <laughs> we we have 1.5 fuel. We are definitely not going to be able to make it to the next place. We, we absolutely have to get, like, at least five or six fuel. Um, uh, yeah, that is a good trade. Holy shit, that was really convenient. So we got three fuel, and we traded some food for that. Someone must have really needed that food to their scrap for one of your tires. That is a terrible trade. Holy shit. $15 for one tire. No, that's actually a pretty good trade, but I don't have the dollars. Okay. Oh, man. What else have I uh, been thinking about lately while I kind of blow through this trading sequence? Um, this one's going to seem a little bit random, but I have encountered a few men um, who have started talking to me. Um, and revealed uh, that they grew up in Georgia or Louisiana. And what I realized that meant was that when a man says, I grew up in, insert, Deep South State here, when they say that, what they're really saying is, I want to have sex with black people. Um, and I realized, <laughs> I realized that um, after investing some time in OkCupid okay during spring break. Because spring break brings a lot of people who aren't normally here here to be with their families or to just visit or some shit. And, uh. Let's scavenge. Okay, there we go. Let's grab that. Um, they're visiting their family. So people who aren't usually here are online. Um, and the ones that are interested in talking to me undoubtedly are like from Georgia or some shit, which is very amusing to me because I lived in Georgia and I've talked about that before that, um, that's just kind of the dynamic with that. But I just find it very funny. Maybe that these people are self-aware enough to be like, I'm talking to a black person. I should let them know I'm from the South so that they can know I want to fuck. Basically, like, they're just saying I'm DDF. I'm DTF, basically. Um, and when I realized that I actually, like, cackled for hours, <laughs> it was just very funny to me. Um, on that, uh, not much going on. Um, it is really different here during spring break, because a lot of people who live here just, like, disappear, and it's replaced by people visiting their families. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Um, nothing particularly fruitful, though. I really never have luck on apps or anything, but I am going to have luck grabbing me that food because we really fucking need it so we can convert it to money. I've kind of given up giving y'all that much practical advice about this game because... Um, I am not doing that well right now, and then also, I've already really said all I need to say, um, really. So, this is kind of like something that happens in Oregon Trail, where, like, the resource that's most valuable, valuable, in this case, fuel, like, is one you can stock up very easily in the beginning, and you don't worry about it for most of the game, but, like, when you get halfway in, like, there's just nowhere to get it. Um, the places that you visit, let's see if I can do this have very, very little of that resource, like that fucking castle we went to that had absolutely nothing in it, goddammit, that was so annoying. Um, and that is, like, really a tragedy, because, like, it comes down to, like, you really gotta get on your knees and just pray to Ultra God 420 that they will give you the resources you need, and maybe that I can talk less and land these fucking baseball well they're not baseballs they're supposed to be screws i guess or nuts or bolts i don't know all right let's see if i can catch this nut there we go nope uh, there we go okay oh my god oh my god there we go okay got it that was a b right what the fuck i just missed two of them right i think that was two or three a little bit sad about that but whatever 
So we fix, we're fixing one of our major problems that our station wagon was about to fucking break down. I actually don't remember offhand how long this next uh, drive sequence is, so I'm kinda hoping that we don't like absolutely need to have our car maxed off. I think it's gonna be fine though. Um, but our next problem still is we need to get at least, I said six before, but I'm gonna say we really need like eight fuel TDH. I really think that's how much we need because we started off this past episode or like this episode with like seven fuel. Um, and I guess we did do two, two drive sequences. We did from the castle to Dallas and then Dallas to here, but I just would feel more comfortable with that because like if Michelle and Jenna are like juggling our fuel in the back and it like fucking explodes, then that's gonna really be irritating. Also, I did myself a really huge disservice and did not pay attention to how much fuel or uh, the zombie activity, and so I am really hoping I don't get fucking chewed on by these goddamn zombies, because that would really cause me a lot of grief while I'm on my way to the I'm such a noob. I cannot believe I forgot I shouldn't hug the bottom of the screen. That is like scavenging 101. Oh, we're gonna try this shit again, because we, like, we need it. We just need the food. We need this, these resources, my friends. Um, we just gotta have them, because we can't leave this town until I scavenge enough to actually have enough to get the fuel we need, and then get at least like one tire or some shit. Like, we just need it. Luckily, everyone is more or less... This is a lot of zombies for it to be low activity. I'm kinda a little vexed by this, TBH. Oh my great gay god, please no 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 god damn it. I hate this game. Well Okay, whatever. Man, I'm not making good use of this carry capacity plus because I keep fucking getting chewed on. So it looks like that was a glitch actually. The zombie activity was actually high when it said low. Um, but we are gonna sell this scrap because it is worth a lot of fucking money. There we go. God damn, we just made a lot of money. Alright, so let's see how much fuel we can get at this. You know what something I also did on a previous playthrough is? I was selling stuff to make cash for fuel, and I accidentally sold all my fuel, and I just quit, and then didn't play this game for like three months. Um, but... Anyway, we got some fuel. I think... We're gonna go ahead and end the video here. We'll get ready to. Um, so I rambled a lot this episode, but we also got a lot of shit done. Um, so thanks for watching, have a good one, and peace out, y'all. Bye.